Welcome back to Wing and Fire. I am your host, Holly. And now let's come before the Lord of Hosts. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your love for us. I pray that you would wrap your arms around um, those listening tonight, Lord, others under the sound of my voice. Lord, we know it's not about me at all, but rather about you. And God, I thank you that you're still good, you're still our God, you're still with us no matter where we go no matter what we face Father in this life Lord and just no matter what Lord we remember the source of all good things is you and sometimes God it's so easy to lose sight of that and everything that goes on around us Father but God I know that you can be trusted Lord for your better than, than anything we've come upon so far however well and God, I pray that you continue to keep your people and to provide, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And he began to speak unto them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard and set a hedge about it, and digged a place for the wine vat, and built a tower, and let it out to a husbandman, and went into a far country. And at the season he sent to the husbandman a servant, that he might receive from the husbandman of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him, and beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones, and wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully handled. Shamefully handled. And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some, and killing some. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent also last unto them, saying, They will reverence my son. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him, and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen, and will give the vineyard unto others. And have you not read the scripture, the stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner? This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. And they sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. And they left him, and went their way. And they sent unto him certain of the Pharisees and of the Herodians to catch him in his words. And when they were come, they say unto him, Master, we know that you are true, and care for no man. For you regard not the person of men, but teach the way of God and truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give, or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempt you me? Bring me a penny, that I may see it. And they brought it. And he says unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? And they said unto him, Caesar's. And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. Then came unto him the Sadducees, which saying, There is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If a, meth, if a man's brother die, and leave his wife behind him, and to leave no children, that his brother should take his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were seven brethren, and the first took a wife, and dying left no seed. And the second took her, and died, neither left he any seed, and the third likewise. And the seven had her, and left no seed. Last of all the woman died also. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the seven had her to wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, Do ye not therefore err, because you know not the scriptures, neither the power of God? For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. And as touching the dead that they rise, have you not read in the book of Moses 
And when the bush God speak unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, he is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. You therefore do greatly err. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus said, and Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is hear, O Israel, The Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is none other commandment greater than this. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, you have said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no man after that durst to ask him any question. And Jesus answered and said, While he taught in the temple, How say the scribes that Christ is the son of David? For David himself said by the Holy Ghost, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit you on my right hand till I make your enemies my foots, your footstool. David therefore himself calls him Lord, and whence is he then his son? And the common people heard him gladly. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing, and love salutations in the market places, and the chief seats in the synagogue, and the uppermost rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. They shall receive greater damnation. And Jesus sat over against the treasury, and behold how the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites which make a farthing. And he called unto him his disciples, and says unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living.